awesome. So we're leaving the house and they're already in the car, but somebody forgot the car keys. Looks like you're not going anywhere. Forget something? As you guys know from yesterday's vlog, I majorly failed at daily vlogging yesterday. I just kind of quit and the vlog was two minutes and there was, it was just bad. It was really bad, but I saved it because then I put in a whole chunk about Doctor Who fan fiction and stuff like that. And I think that has actually inspired me a little bit and has made me adapt a bit more to these daily vlogs, especially on the days where it's just boring. There's not much to do and that happens because my life honestly is not that exciting. Sometimes I do some fun stuff like the end of this week should be potentially pretty fun and I'll have some awesome vlogs for you guys. But most days aren't super exciting. Like today we're going grocery shopping right now and I'll find bits and pieces, but that can't be the chunk of the vlog. We have to have something of more substance. So I'm gonna come up with something, I don't know, later in the vlog to talk about, to add in there. I feel like I need to do more with these, teach you guys stuff, or talk about important topics, or just, I don't know, something more than just look at my day, you know? So I'm going to be experimenting more with that idea. to fly with our Spider-Man so they can fly together. How much is that one? I don't know, I think so. Let's go find out. Do you get it? <gasps> Are you serious? Let's get like three. <laughs> it's a minion. Two. I want this one. Can I have the minion? Yes. Check it out, we also found an R2-D2. Can I put Amanda and up front to have that, please? So I found this minion instead. It's not quite as cool as this one, but this one's cheaper. And not only that, I think the R2 is significantly cool. So we're gonna go with the R2 and a minion. You realize now we have to have Kite Wars. I am Iron Man. Look at the clouds right now. Guys, the weather is insane. We weren't even in Walmart that long and now it's beautiful and sunny again. What is wrong with the Midwest? I will never get used to this. Never. It's crazy. It's so unpredictable and insane. Turns out juggling with a super tiny ball is much harder than juggling with an actual proper ball. <laughs> so the US team won the Women's World Cup and what is the crazy part is that Lloyd had a hat trick in 13 minutes. 13 minutes! Not only that, her third goal was from the half line. That is epic. Just friggin epic. It's so cool. They beat Japan 5-2 to two, and it's just like woo! In the United States, this should be like a huge deal. We should be like yeah we won World Cup woo! Two reasons why it's not. First of all, it's a woman's sport. Did you know that they're getting paid significantly less for their win than if it was a men's team that won? What's up with that? Not only that, it is soccer and I live in the United States. It's not a big deal here. It is becoming bigger. It's becoming much bigger. There are games in St. Louis. I think we had like Arsenal play one time in St. Louis and like it was completely sold out. People went nuts but it's still a small population of the bigger population. When the Men's World Cup happened, I was surprised. There was actually quite a bit of people that were excited about it, but nothing compared to like if it's the World Series or like the Super Bowl or whatever. Kind of annoying. I would also like to point out the fact that I am fully aware that it is called football. It is called that everywhere in the world. When I'm not in the United States, I even call it football. But if I called it football in the United States, people would be like, this kind of football that you throw and it would be confusing and blah, blah, blah. So I just, I go with soccer. Go with soccer while I'm here. Go with the flow. Even though it makes no sense why it's called that. It's like one of those things, you know how everyone else uses Celsius and no, we gotta use Fahrenheit. That makes no sense. Really doesn't. Or the fact that everybody else uses metric and we're sitting over here with our inches. We'll never understand it, but you know, whatever. Anyway, I don't know what my point was with this. I would just excited about the win, 
wanted to talk about sports a little bit. I've actually been playing sports the majority of my life. I started playing soccer when I was five and I played it all through high school and it's huge in my family in Jordan. They coach it or they play it. They just, they love it. I started out as a defender for the longest time. Then when I got older, they put me into midfield. I played goalie once and it was the most terrifying experience ever. I have so much respect for goalies. When I was younger, I really, really looked up to the soccer player Mia Hamm. But in addition to soccer, I've also played basketball. Basketball is my number two sport. Loved it, played it for many years as well. But I've played almost every sport imaginable. I feel like I've played so many different sports. I uh, did gymnastics for a while, I did dance, ice skating, took karate in college. One sport that I really want to do at some point in my life, if you could call it a sport, is Quidditch. I'm not even lying, there are schools in the United States, like universities that have Quidditch teams and they have like a Quidditch World Cup and it's insane and that would just be so cool. Obviously you don't get to fly, but you know, it's the closest thing. So I guess I've just been missing sports lately. I haven't played them in a really long time. Ever since I hurt my back, I couldn't really play them anymore. And also when you get out of school, there's not really in a place to play it. Unless like you join some sort of community league or something like that. Shockingly though, I don't watch a whole lot of sports. I do love sports, but I'm not one of those people to sit and like watch a whole bunch of them. I will watch the World Cup. I do like watching the World Cup, but I don't really follow like club teams or anything like that as I know most people do who love that. We also put the kite together that we bought earlier and it is pretty freaking cool. It's R2-D2, let me go get it. Check it out! Oh my god, it's cool. I cannot wait to go fly this. Well anyway, that's pretty much all I have to say in this vlog. Kind of went off on a tangent a little bit, but feels like it was relevant. Go USA! Woo! If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you tomorrow. Bye! With some recommendations for Doctor Who fan fiction. The Dorito Cool Ranch one. I don't know.